It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Commanders, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it'll be the Dallas Cowboys taking on the Washington Commanders. Brandon Gaunt and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? Kicker Brandon Aubrey is out to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the commanders making their way out. And bringing them out, the former Tar Heel, second-year pro, Sam Howell. And he left North Carolina with most of his school's records and at one point was thought to be maybe the number one quarterback in his draft class. He does bring deceptive athleticism and plenty of upside to the table. Add some consistency, and maybe he can really unlock what he can be in the NFL. Al, first play, going to throw it. And his first pass is incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and 10. Here's Hal. Here's a screen for Robinson. Five yards, now it's third and five. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Al down to throw it. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. First look at the Cowboys offense as Dak Prescott gets ready to guide them. And how about the toughness of Dak Prescott? We see it all the time on the field. And remember when he had that serious ankle injury, would he return to form? Boy, did he ever. And he was better than ever. And that's great for the NFL. Terrific resilience, playing at a high level, capable of winning a championship with his arm and his legs. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 31-yard line. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. 
So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be second down. Prescott. Left side to Lamb. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 43. And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys shake it up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. Prescott to throw it. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have any options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. On third down, it's Prescott. Forced out to his left. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Here's Prescott. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Brandon Cooks, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, you've got to like that start on both sides of the football. You force the three and out, and then you score on your first drive. Well, I know someone who doesn't like that start. Well, yeah, the other side. Yeah, they don't like that <laughs> at all, right? This is not the way it's supposed to be. But what you just described, that's team football. All right, when you get a three and out, you're supposed to take advantage of it on the offensive side of the ball. You said, thank you very much for getting us to rock. Let's put it in the end zone, and they did exactly that. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. 
Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down, Hal back to pass. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Was trying to find Jahan Dotson, and it's third and short. Back to throw, Howell. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And already down 7 to nothing after the touchdown a minute ago. So a three and out here would not be ideal for them. Nice job finding his receiver there. And they get the first down. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Drop for a loss there on a nice effort by Osa Adigizua. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Throwing here, Howell. Eluding the pressure right. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Here's third and six. Al, he'll look to throw it. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. He really looked comfortable there, scanning the situation, analyzing things, feeling the pressure, and then stepping up right through the middle and sprinting for a first down. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And yeah, Howell will throw it. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Though he's seen some good pressure defensively already here in the first quarter, here's another good example. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Now Hal sets up the screen to Robinson. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage. to be an impactful play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Third and two. Here's Hal. That is caught. Powering his way forward. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards to play. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, <laughs> then this is the end result. Big yardage after it. Got the speed, the agility. So good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. And what's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch, a lot of times he'll just run past you at the initial point of contact, and he'll go deep. Takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are an extra point away from evening this one up. And certainly some credit there for that touchdown goes to the offensive line. They never get the credit they deserve in the stat sheet, but they are the reason that they got the points. Excellent job up front, clearing the way for the score. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Well, it's kind of fitting. A couple days ago when we met with him, I said, what is it about your running game that's so effective? He said, I like to tag myself as elusive. He was pretty elusive right there. And his teammates appreciate that because they know they don't have to hold their blocks for very long, as one of them told us. If I just breathe some bad breath on the guy in front of me, that's all I need to do, and he's gone. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Going to run again here with Pollard. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Prescott. Got an open man. It's Michael Gallup. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. First and 10, Prescott. That's caught once again by Gallup. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now a second and two. Looking to throw, Prescott. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he's going to be taken down right at the 10-yard line. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's Prescott. The quick slant caught. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Up second and two at the two yard line. Two yards to go, second down. Option play, here's Pollard. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard and it leads to a third down. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there at one spot and there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Trying to run for it with Pollard. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll bring up fourth. They had the eight-yard gain on first down, but unable to do much from there. Sometimes I think these defensive tackles get a little bit of a bum rap. We just see them as big guys that eat up blockers for others to make tackles. Oftentimes, they're quicker than they get credit for. And this time, he uses quickness to make a play. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. 
A good drive gets him inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the commander's offense back onto the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Powell. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here, as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter now from our nation's capital and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it second down and 12. Out of the gun, it's Howell. This will be caught, it's Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. That one good for 26 and a first down. Here's Hal. That's going to be caught downfield by McClellan. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. A gain of 37. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go band of brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No accusations. Because if you don't, those quick strikes we just saw, they become long-lasting. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. Robinson. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. They bring the blitz, and it's not always... The initial blitzers that make the play, in this case, the blitzers actually took up the blocking. How about the guy in the middle, though? Reading his keys right on the spot, stops him at the line of scrimmage. Robinson again. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Brian Robinson, Jr. with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Commanders have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. 
I can get some more. I can get some more. And it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. I know that play went to the left side, and that's what it was designed to do, an outside handoff there. But how about the whole offensive line being involved? Seal the left side where the play was going, where they call play side. But how about on the back side? Just taking care of business to make sure no one can get there and disrupt it. Is the biggest key the left tackle? Without a doubt. Control that edge. Get out there. You want that left tackle. If you bring your tight end over there, either way, control the edge of the line of scrimmage. you got a chance to rumble. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. To throw is Prescott. That's dumped off to Pollard. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. Prescott. Cooks on the quick slant. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. But sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them, and they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Play fake. Here's Prescott. And it's caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taken them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dak Prescott. A three-yard run as he kept it himself. And the Cowboys have retaken the lead. And maybe the defense caught a little by surprise there that he took off and got in? Yeah, I would think so, because if you're analyzing it from that side of the ball, you're thinking running back, fullback. <laughs> it takes you a while before you get to the quarterback. Aubrey good with a PAT, and it's now 17-14. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Now it's Crowder. Now it's Crowder. 
And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And the Washington offense heading out. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Jahan Dotson was the intended receiver. And it's second down. Gets this out quickly to Dodson. It'll be dropped at the 30. The shifty move couldn't free him. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Al now to throw it. Here as he's taken down. Chauncey Golston able to run him down for a 15-yard loss, and it will be fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Taken right around the 44. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Offense back out there. And we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. Meanwhile, Dax throw taken in there by Cooks. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Prescott off play action. He finds his man complete. That's Ferguson. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 16 more on that one and another first down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. First down, Prescott. That's into the hands of Gallup over the middle. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Tony Pollard. A three-yard touchdown run. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. Aubrey now for the point after. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. They start on the ground with Robinson here. That's to about the 28, second down coming up. But from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. Second down, Hal back to pass. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. He's across midfield. Still going. Terry McLaurin, touchdown, Washington. Terry McLaurin, 72 yards. And the Commanders are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've <laughs> seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. The extra point by Sly is up and good, and that cuts the lead to three, after the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Tony Pollard and his Dallas teammates ready again on offense. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tilt the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Prescott to throw it. He finds his man complete. It's Ferguson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot, then have him run a corner route versus the zone coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on him. Prescott now from the 50. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Prescott. 
A short one there, taken in by Ferguson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. Prescott yet again. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 31-yard line. Give them 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Pollard will take it up the gun. Five yards, now it's third and five. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Looking to throw, Prescott. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. Prescott and Lamb hooking up for the Cowboy first. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, let the natural light of today reflect that he is now getting into the end zone two times. Look at you. You're a little uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Is that his name? No, I was just going with the meteorologist. Said it was a day game. I'm here. Aubrey now for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was finished off by the 14-yard touchdown run. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. A time again to see Terry McLaurin in the Washington offense, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense, is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. Howell and the Commanders come up now, first and 10 at their own 24. He'll start with a give to Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here's a second and eight. And Howe will throw it. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. 
I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. But we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Hal. And he will go down, a Cowboy sack. Now the Cowboys are gonna burn the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Now the former Oklahoma Sooner, Tress Way, on to punt the football. And he's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Let's take it inside his own 40. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Dallas offense set for this next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinator is probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Prescott on first down. And Cooks has it over the middle. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball, but when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. This second and four. Throwing, Prescott. On the out route, it's Lamb with a grab. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Seven yards there and a first down. Here's Prescott. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Michael Gallup, that's who he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. Prescott now. He'll find Lamb, that's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 20-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. from the red zone now. Prescott, that's Gallup on the slant. The Cowboys gonna use their second timeout now as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So not quite a first and goal, it's first and 10 from the 10. They'll throw again. Prescott. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first-half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league. So they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. Aubrey now for the point after. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. There's Terry McLaurin, such an exciting pass catcher as this offense comes out for their next drive. He's done his part, but so far it's been in a losing effort, so they've got to fix something. But that doesn't mean changing anything, the way they're throwing the ball around and his catches and production. Keep doing that. They're going to have to fix some things likely on defense to try and slow down their opponents. But so far, he's north of 100 yards receiving. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a strong first half for running back Tony Pollard. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. All right, coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This fielded right at the goal line. And just shedding him off there. And they'll have this all the way out to the 50-yard line. Excellent field position. What a way to start the second half. These guys are showing no signs of letting up. They have a chance to take a decided advantage with this possession. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Off the play fake, Prescott. That's going to be caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good... And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Tony Pollard taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey, and the lead is now 24.
So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. First possession of the second half now for Washington. First and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders at their own 19-yard line. He'll get it to Robinson to begin the drive. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And Commanders, first down. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. On the counter, this is Robinson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Second and a couple. This time they'll throw it with Hal. Short throw here to the tight end Bates. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup, brings up second and two at the 50-yard line. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and a couple. Back to throw, Howell. This is caught by his tight end, Logan Thomas. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Faking the handoff, Howell. He's got Thomas yet again, complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. And he was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice gain. Hal's throw complete to Dotson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Robinson up the middle. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second and five. They'll run again here with Robinson. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. That solid gainer will put them on the doorstep of the end zone. More importantly, it gives them a fresh set of downs. Nice work right there. Now 
They'll run with Robinson. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr. Taking it in from seven yards away. And the Commanders are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. They'll let Robinson try and run. And he got it on the touchdown run, but he won't get in here. He'll be stopped short. And they'll come up empty on the try for two. Joey slide out, a kick off after the touchdown. Kevontae Turpin now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. I had to do a double take on that one, Brandon, because so far in this game, we haven't seen many of his passes fall incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Prescott from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. They run the option here on first and 10. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think his big boys up front, that offensive line, they've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. Now Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. 
All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. He showed his shiftiness and his explosion to take him all the way down near the goal line. Love that description, and it creates momentum. Maybe you hand it to him again since he's got it going, or do you fake it to him and throw it to a teammate? Right now, the options are wide open. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Good solid gain on first down, about what you'd expect from the big guy carrying the ball. Second and goal from the one. Pollard. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Here's Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys are able to extend their lead. So another touchdown there. And even though we're still just here in the third quarter, kind of hard now to see them giving up this lead. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want to select is there. You want to run it, you want to throw it. Pick a play, any play. They're rocking and rolling right now. Aubrey good with a PAT. And they open the lead up now to 25. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. So a six-carry drive, the last go-around touchdown on the end of it. We'll see if they can duplicate that here. I think that they would like to. I know every runner that we've ever met would love to carry the ball more and more and more. In fact, we keep a ball in the booth just for demonstration purposes. You're holding it right now. I'm going to give it to you. Is it is it heavy? Is it that heavy? No, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, right? So keep <laughs> giving it to him and let him do his work. It's not going to slow him down. If it's light for me, it's definitely light for him. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 22-yard line. Come on, let's go. From the 22, here's second and eight. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Tackle at the 25-yard line. That's a gain of three. Now third and five. Here is third and five. Out of the gun, it's Howell. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Micah Parsons drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Out comes CeeDee Lamb and the rest of the Dallas offense. Sort of a slow and steady game so far, but reliable for him here in this third quarter. Sounds like we're describing a possession receiver, right? The one that finds a way to make the big catches, the ones that break the backs of defenses, keep first downs accumulating. I think he's that and maybe a little bit more. 
Yeah, he's been pretty good so far. We'll see if he can make this good game a great game. First down, Prescott. Cooks on the quick slant. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. Prescott. There again is Cooks, complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the box. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Running right, it's Pollard. 130 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now I think we can get used to seeing more of that in this fourth quarter, especially if they're having success on the ground like they did there. Yeah, I think back when we met with the head coach in, in preseason, and all he talked about was building a bully. And I think it was this situation he was envisioning. Trying to ice a game, plenty of time left, but being able to give the ball to his big runner and pound away and try and finish off a game. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The offense on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This time they face a third and two. Going to run again here with Pollard. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Well, you know me, partner. I never tell them to back off of being aggressive, but sometimes you see the consequences when you're overly aggressive and you don't secure tackles. Guys break through. Trying to sell out to pry that football loose, and just as you said, cost some yardage. Yeah, you got to go get him. Stand him up first before you go for the ball. Don't just go for it initially. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. He continues to be a major factor carrying the football here into the fourth quarter, Charles. Another big gain on the ground. Big guys working strong up front. A lot of them not just taking care of business at the line of scrimmage, but getting into the linebacker spots and taking care of the second level as well. And they're taking advantage of everything right now on the scoreboard with that lead. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stop. And that is caught. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Cowboys have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. So definitely a good day's work throwing the football. Very good day's work. A fourth touchdown pass as they're really pouring it on. Yeah, and so much for going into clock mode after getting that touchdown, right? Because you would think with the lead fourth quarter, they might actually do that. No chance. They've kept attacking and got another touchdown pass as a result. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. 
Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. First down, Hal to throw. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Al now to throw it. This one hauled in, and again, it's Robinson. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. He right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Cowboys are going to take over at their own 41. CD, this defense, I man, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Offense back out there, and we shine the spotlight on the Memphis man, Tony Pollard. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. So the drive's going to start with Pollard. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. From the 44-yard line, here's second and six. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as he'll give to Pollard. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards there at a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage. They are powering through, and they're controlling this game. 169 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. And eight yard pickups. And the Cowboy first down. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Now second and three.
Looking to throw. Prescott. A short one there taken in by Ferguson. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Prescott. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. And looking to put this game on ice in the fourth quarter, but still not afraid to throw it as they show there. You want to play the game with confidence, and they have a guy who's in control right now. Their trigger guy throwing it, they feel just as confident with him doing that as they would if they tried to run the ball and run the clock out. Prescott, wide open receiver complete. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, there's absolutely been no stopping this offense today. They already have the big lead, obviously. Here in the fourth quarter, they could coast to the end, but right now they're not passing up any chances to put up some garbage time yardage. And partner, why would they? Because who knows the next time you'll be playing as well as you have today. When you're in that zone, you go ahead and take full advantage of it. You don't worry about your opponent. You just worry about what you're doing. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. Well, they made the play there, and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride. Come on, guys, he's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one, and on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't they? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he knows how to find the end zone. That time, he just didn't get there. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. And yeah, they're breathing fire a little bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. So on fourth down, Prescott off and on his Aubrey for the Cowboy field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And this one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, the only silver lining on the other sideline, CD, is that they kept him out of the end zone, but still, that's another three points added on to this large lead. Yeah, no shortage of scoring or big plays on defense in this one. And even up by four possessions, still finding ways to create opportunities and capitalize with points. So after the made field goal, back out is Aubrey to kick this away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Washington offense back out there, and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Call that a very strong gain of 24. Now, fourth quarter, certainly not enough time for a comeback, but nice to see them making use of the time remaining to try and make this one a little more respectable. Yeah, I think the ultimate goal, good execution, be crisp, be sharp, and find a way to put some points on the board to make this thing look just a little bit better. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception.
Now a second and ten. Al, he'll look to throw it. And that's incomplete. So now third and 10, they had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. And once more, Hal back to the air. That is caught, and he's gonna have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 38 yard line. A really nice pickup of 14 yards and it moves the sticks. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Second down, Hal back to pass. Really good coverage all over the field and it took away his intended read and almost dared him to try for his guy out of the backfield. No surprise on that one, it doesn't connect. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and 10. Another throw for Howell. A throw out wide going to be incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. And they'll get back three, but this remains a large deficit. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game. But to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. Boy, 184 yards rushing for him now in the ballgame. Now that's the way you want to start a drive. Talk about a tone setter as well as a playbook opener. Now if you want to take a big shot over the top, you're all positioned to do so. Second down and three. Here's Pollard again. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. Only a yard on the pickup, so a good situation on second and two. It's now third and one. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.